What is up, y'all? Today is a big day for a lot of different reasons, but real quick, look at this background, dude. That is so freaking sick. Delaware out here straight flexing the wildlife, but yeah, haircut first state is officially back. I told you guys, man. Yeah, it's like plus 10 not losing fish ability. These fish better watch out, man. Also, huge announcement. When this video goes up, this channel has hit 400,000 subscribers. From the bottom of my heart, I could just not thank you guys enough, man. I'll talk about that more at the end of this video, but yeah, 400,000, that's just freaking crazy, dude. Next milestone is 500K, half a million. That, holy crap, dude, you guys are crazy. So we are out here today at the beach. It's already, it's, it's gonna be a roasty toasty one here today man we are out here for some redemption i think this is gonna be a really fun day today if you guys read the title you guys know what's going on man for the next 24 hours i'm gonna be putting my fishing and survival skills kind of to the test i am going to be eating only what i catch out of the salt water for one whole day i'm gonna get my bear grills on you know my cody lundeen it is right now 1 p.m it's a little bit of a late start here for the day so that means from 1 p.m today till 1 p.m tomorrow i can only eat what i catch out of this salt water last summer when i did this video you guys seem to really enjoy it i had a lot of fun doing it as well we're gonna attempt to do better than we did last year i know we caught a bunch of different things actually last year and we cooked them up right on the beach and everything hopefully i mean definitely we're gonna get some more food this time maybe you know a little bit more variety geez look at this whole mess right here it's like a freaking holy crap it's like a graveyard on this beach dude now again i'm calling this a survival challenge but am i not going to stay alive if i don't eat for 24 hours i mean i would hope not but uh yeah as i said it's 1 p.m i have not eaten all day yet there are some other people this beach right now it is super toasty out here and as i always say man you do not want to be out here in the sun getting all hangry so uh, i actually have a plan here to start as you guys can see it's kind of like low tide right now all this stuff usually is underwater Jeez, look at all these snails dude definitely not going to be eating any of these here today all right so just like last year let me quickly lay out some rules for this challenge so i can drive around i don't have to stay like in this specific spot by the way there is a fishing pier over there we're probably going to be hitting that i can only fish the bay or the ocean or really whatever connects to all this there's like some canals and creeks and other beaches and stuff i can only keep and eat one fish per species let's just say for example i get super lucky i catch five keeper flounder today i can only keep and eat one of those flounder and lastly man if we catch fish we're going to catch clean cook it on the spot i have my cooking stuff i got a burner I have some ingredients so right here on the beaches or really wherever we're gonna be we're gonna catch and cook and yeah that is pretty much it I guess the search for food begins right now we actually as I said we're at low tide Ooh, I stay flex on y'all man what do you know about the gorilla tape five somehow these things got completely obliterated I don't know nothing gorilla tape cannot fix it I feel like it's a little bit more fancy than duct tape all right let's get out here look how clear water is right here that is a good thing last thing we want is a big old crab slicing our toe all right so this is our first stop right here these, these little island looking things so as far as the fishing goes from shore and from this pier over there and just the other spots as well i think it's going to start to pick up like after the tide starts to come in i think that's going to be like a better time so i figure we might as well use this opportunity to scavenge some stuff in these tide pools and this stuff that's usually all underwater Ooh, look at that little dude moving right there didn't it make like a movie with snails he was like a race car snail or something all right let me show you guys how i'm going to attempt to find some clams all right as i said a lot of this is usually underwater i know a lot of people go clamming especially like this year but hopefully there's going to be a couple in here what we are looking for down in here is something look at this exactly like that see it's like a little keyhole looking thing and you see these bubble marks i actually learned about this technique last year when we were filming this video this i like i, I that has to be a clam right this is what we're gonna do one-handed <sighs> dig down in here oh dude 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 this is gonna be way better than last year already man first oh let me get it out come here boy dude this is so freaking sick oh look at that first freaking food source of the day that did not take too long at all man look at that little clam if any of you guys know what type of clam that is definitely leave it down in the comment section below i'm not even gonna lie man i was out here for like two seconds that just that, that's so sick to me that i like if i was out in an abandoned island for some reason in delaware i don't know if clamming is like that other places i'm guessing it's kind of similar but you know if i was stranded I, I i don't know let's see i guess if we could find any more man now clams and crabs and other like crustaceans i don't know i guess i could put a limit let's just say like three clams three crabs if i can even catch any crabs i don't know we're gonna try to do that actually over there it definitely gets kind of tricky as you guys can see i mean there's holes if you just walk around like there's holes there there's a hole right there there's holes everywhere but what you're really looking for is like a keyhole that's how the guy explained it to me last year and that's really what like i've had like all the success you can see this thing right here that kind of looks like a little keyhole sort of thing i mean there's just a bunch of holes everywhere but the bubbles are a dead giveaway what in the heck look at all these bubbles 
right here. I'm telling you guys, man, it could be a struggle to find the bubbles. I do not know what that is. I don't really see a keyhole though. Is this the hole right here? Yeah, I don't know, very interesting. Bubbles don't always mean, you know, clams as well, I guess. I didn't even get a warning, man, for enemy airstrike overhead. I think before these get swallowed up, let's go out to this island. We gotta find us the queen clam. This water is actually super warm. Now, if you guys have not seen, like a couple months ago, I actually did a clamming video and I caught like, I don't even know what exactly they're called. They're like long clams. I was digging them up with my hands here as well. I'll link that video up here, but that was just, that, that was very interesting. What the heck we got there, man? It's like some sea spaghetti. Um, all right. There is a hole with some water right there. Now, I don't know if this is the best idea to be doing this, just sticking your hands in the holes. Tell you man, sometimes the bubbles can be deceiving. There's some bubbles right there. All right, um, well this tide is definitely on its way in. All right, is this something right here? Oh, I think it's one of them skinny ones. Oh my God, how deep do these things go? Oh, I feel them. I feel them. I feel them. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Oh my God, let's go. Oh my God, look how weird these freaking things look. Holy freaking crap, dude. Okay, second clam of the day. This is a different, this is what I was talking about. These are the weird looking things. Okay. All right, second official clam of the day. That is a good feel, man. I'll put that dude in my pocket. Oh, that looks so fun, dudes out here jet skiing. I've actually been out here for a decent amount of time. As you guys can see, I mean, these things are just getting swallowed. The tide is just coming up so fast, so I'm gonna try to get one more. I guess I'm allowed one more, right? This is what you gotta be careful of right there. I don't know, does he have any tentacles on him? If you guys watched the video, I'll link it up here. A couple videos back, I got freaking stung twice. I got one this leg, one that leg. Actually, I don't know, what do you think? Should we make some jellyfish jelly? Hey, all you people. <laughs> all right, where the heck is the queen clam, man? I feel like I should've put my GoPro on for this so I could have like both hands. Almost washed out. I think this is, that looks like a normal clam. See that little thing right there? Barely saw the bubbles. Let's go, dude. Oh my God, we are on the board. That's like the perfect little eating size too, I think. I gotta measure them. Oh yeah, get a little rinse off. Look how clear that water is. They were in the freaking Bahamas out here. But that is our food source so far for the day. Three little clams. Literally just in time too. These things are getting swallowed. This is like the biggest of the islands, but there was like a big one right there. It's a big one out there. They're just getting smoked. If you guys have not already, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. That really would mean a lot to me. And also, man, if you do enjoy my videos, but you're not already, or if you're new here, please make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. I'm fired up right now, because as I said, I am very hungry. I have a not yet eaten a day and our eyes and our fingers just went through some intensive labor. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play this smart here. I'm gonna cook these clams up real quick. Just get some food, get some energy. After that, we are going to go full force and try to catch as many fish species that are keepers as possible. In the salt water right now, there's a lot of stuff swimming around. So hopefully, I mean, we can catch at least something. We have a little thing of oil right here. I think it's a vegetable oil, put that on there. To be completely honest, I've not cooked clams like too many times before, but I just think when they open up, that's when like they're, yeah. We got a few specks of sand in there, but that should be all right. I, uh, yeah, that is gonna be super freaking hot. I did not bring a thingy oven mitt type thing we did last time. All right, where did I put one of these pockets? There we go. All right, Whew. just dried the heck out of these things. The fishing pier's right there, by the way. We're actually about to go up on there. One, two. Oh my gosh, all right, this dude already is going bonkers right there. Oh, now again, I don't know if I said it in this video, but I said it in other videos. I'm not like by any means a survival expert. I'm just out here having fun. If you guys have any like suggestions on what I could do better, you know, survival wise or even cooking. I mean, as I said, Chef First State is not used to grilling up some clams. Use some good looking pan clams. That one is already open though. There are a decent amount of people out here on this beach right now. They're all kind of like, look at me, like there's a dude painting some clams over here. Got some seagulls flying around, the tide is coming in. I mean, with all the craziness that's going on right now, especially, you know, right now in the world, it's just nice, you know, to be able to come out here. It's just relaxing, man. All right, so I've been flipping those two around. I just flipped this guy back over. Look at that. Tell me that actually doesn't look kind of appetizing. The first time I like, 
cook these guys. It, it just did not. But yeah, it's taking a while for these two to open. I guess to give it a little bit more time here. I wish I had a lid to kind of like steam them. Oh, oh, you guys see that? Look at that. Oh yeah, that is an open clam right there. All right, there we go. There's two of them. The one is still, that, that big one's still not open. And we don't have any forks, we don't have any plates. We have a uh, little seasoning, but I don't even think I'm gonna throw this on there, man. I do wish I had some lemon. How hot is this still? Well, that's hot. Oh, oh, as I was just saying that. Hello, sir. Whew. All right, y'all. First meal of the day. I noticed some of y'all probably does not look very appetizing. I wish I had some lemon juice. Fresh clam, fresh from the bay. Let's give it a shot. Salty, dude. That's actually really, really good. Oh, the sun is bright. I mean, to be completely honest, that felt like it had seasonings, like a lot of seasoning on it. It could be the cast iron, too. That is a seasoned already pan. I guess not, though, because it didn't touch the pan, really. It's just, is this, is that's good, dude. Now, this is the one I'm a little sketched out about. This, uh, tried these one time before. I mean, I feel like I cooked it pretty good this time. People say, oh, that is weird looking. People say these are supposed to be better than those other clams as well. Let's try this thing, man. Let me know in the comments below if you guys ever had these. I, uh, I don't know. It looks way better than the first time I had it, though. Let's just bite the foot off real quick. That's definitely different. That is weird. I don't know if you can see that. It has like a different, like it's not as chewy. I don't know why it tastes like chicken, man. Why do I taste chicken? Definitely some sand in it. You're supposed to like put these in fresh water, I think, and then they spit out all like the sand and stuff in them. All right, man, we got one more clam to go. Let's get this, ah, that's gonna be hot. There's a big boy right there. Pretty fun day though so far, man. Let's pop, I'm just gonna pop this whole dude. I definitely like these ones. They're more chewy, but they just have that more clam taste. I don't know. Now, would this be better with some lemon? Like 10,000%, just, just a little bit of lemon, but that's good, man. I, I, I like that. Feeling good. Ooh, all right. Let's get out here on this pier and do a little work, beat it up a little bit. Right now I'm gonna try like at first for a flounder. It's just been an interesting year so far when it comes to flounder. I don't I don't think I've caught a flounder so far this year. A few videos back I went after them and that was like the whole premise of the video and I caught a bunch of other stuff. Rays from the sun are like straight fire. All right. It looks like pretty empty-ish compared to a couple other times I was here, which is good, maybe? I don't know, we shall find out. And if this pier isn't doing very good, I got a couple other spots. To be honest, I thought I'd feel like way more energetic. I guess it was only three clams. All right. To be our little home base right here. Yesterday I went to Dick's Sporting Goods on my Instagram and I was kind of vlogging on Instagram there. If you guys don't follow me over there, man, I'm gonna be trying to post as many stories as possible, but I picked up a few different color packs of gulp. They had the biggest freaking gulp section. I'll play the video over. I have never seen, this is the Dekashi 69 six inch gulp grub. So do like a rainbow color. That's a big bait. Probably, I don't know if we're gonna be throwing that today. I like the more four inch. That's usually what I have better luck on. A lot of times that they're white, but we have exclusive color black and chartreuse fuse and also uh, this is swimming mullet nuclear chicken. I've heard a lot of things about the nuclear chicken. Never tried it before though, so let's take one of these dudes out. All right, that should be good-ish. White jig head nuclear chicken ultimate combo right here. So I'm pretty much just gonna be tossing this. Oh, all right, I'm gonna try to hit really as much structure as possible. So around like these pilings right here, So again, these flounder are gonna be chilling at the bottom, especially here at the pier, they're gonna be like on structure, whether that's like a little dip in the sand that they kind of can use as cover, or one of these right there, they really like these little pier posts. Now this place is super heavily fished, so like, I don't know, I probably should be using a minnow. Uh, I got artificial, but if there's a hungry fish, it should be all good. There's a lot of bait down here though. We'll see what happens, but yeah, they just kind of chill on the bottom. And then when something comes up, like this little nuclear chicken you know, swims right by them. They're gonna come up, go pop, right back down to the sand and they blend in so well. Flounder are some of the coolest fish ever, dude. Just like their ability to blend in and just like, oh, oh, I'm getting bit right there. I just got bit, I just got bit, I just got bit. I don't know if that was a flounder, but that was a bite. Come on, man. I was just saying how cool you are. Please be a flounder. Whew. But yeah, fun fact. Flounder actually are born. Like, you know how they have two sides on the one side of their head? They just look super crazy. They're actually born with the eye on each of the sides. 
of their head and then like as they adapt the one kind of moves over so that they have like a double eye side i don't know i just think that's super cool yeah, there's definitely fish around we might have to shrink it down and go for some smaller stuff this is just saltwater fishing man especially at a super super well known and usually packed pier i mean every time i come here so far this year has been like absolutely insane it's just a bunch of pressure you just gotta have patience you know it's gotta be a doormat hiding down here somewhere that wants some nuclear chicken i'll tell you that i'm just kind of walking down letting this out just dragging it and bouncing it right next to these posts Oh my god. Freaking horseshoe crab. Oh. Bro. Literally right in the top of the freaking. So, uh, yeah, this is the third one I've hooked on my freaking nuclear chicken. Crazy looking dudes, the horseshoe crab, if you guys are not familiar. Not sure if they're like actually biting it or if I'm just like bumping this along the bottom and kind of like smacking them a little bit with it. Back shot. Hi, how's it going? You guys have blood worms? Yep. Ooh, all right y'all so here's what we are going to do we are all geared up here there's a lot going on there's people screaming in the water first of all we've not yet caught a fish today so let me pull secret weapon out of here boom all right these are these are it man right here there should be a ton of species they're gonna want to chomp on something like this let me get one out now i've actually shot a ton of videos before using these blood worms i'll link one up right here right now oh my gosh oh dude they're alive like these things are so weird man let's see if his mouth will come out they will literally like bite you oh dude that's a big thick one are oh, they're gonna fall through the freaking all right so i broke this blood worm up into pieces i'll show you guys the rig we're using here in a second it's called a sabiki rig i've used this a couple different times in my videos as well this is gonna be the money rig right here so we're gonna take little pieces of blood worm and put them on these tiny little hooks two more now hopefully when i throw this in the water oh dude this dude's still squirming I'm really hoping this should not take too long at all all right one more no joke man these worms are a hot commodity this time of year so here's the rig oh geez i almost freaking dropped the pole not sure if you can see this or not but we have a swivel and then this is the whole rig it has one two three four five six and uh, i believe these are size eight hooks on the sabiki so super super small I'm telling you this time of the year i'm not gonna try to toss it out too far at the beginning this time of the year this should be killer man so as this sits down there, the sinker, I don't know if I said it or not, there's a sinker attached to the very bottom. And then the sinker is at the bottom. And one, one, one. All the hooks going up. Oh my gosh. Right away. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm telling you, Sabiki. Oh my gosh. Please tell me we can keep this. What is it? God, this rig is so money this time of year. All right, what is that? Is that that's just a tiny little croaker, right? Dang it, they have to be eight inches. That'd be perfect. A little flounder bait. Dang, man, first fish of the day, though. We're gonna have to let this dude go. Super pretty little guy. One day, that'll be somebody's dinner. He's got a hall pass today, though. All right, tiny little sabikis are perfect for multi species. All right, let's see. We got sunset in the background, too, man. How's the sun setting already? This day has passed so fast. Oh, there's one. It feels a little bit better. Hold on a second. It might be more than one. Or just a bigger. What is that? Ah. Oh, yeah, again. Just a tiny little freaking croaker, dude. Oh, the fairy's leaving over there. I'm going to take it. You won't. Just something I can keep, man. I'll, I'll take, like, we have a little sand perch out here, too. It'd be cool to catch a weak fish, um, blowfish, really anything will eat these bloodworms. That's why they're so sought after this time of year. Oh, and kingfish too. I would, dude, 
If we got a keeper kingfish, that would be so sick. I don't know, dude. I might have spooked the whole family out here. This is uh, another situation similar to when we were like fishing in the bay. Um, when the tide's lower like this, you just try to try to find them little holes. Dude, I am freaking hungry, man. Come on, spot gods. I forgot to. I have a. Uh, I brought out a crab trap. Uh, my GoPro in it too, so we could see kind of what's down there. I should probably put that out. All right, watch. Right when I put this down, it's gonna get bit. That's how it always works. Oh my god. I got off. At the bait shop, we also copped some frozen bunker here. Let me see. Was that? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Have you done it before? All right, so frozen bunker head. I would prefer fresh. We're going to try this out here. Maybe we can catch some bait to put in the crab trap. Might take a little bit for this to thaw in there, but there's any crabs down there. I'm sure, there's like snails, hermit crabs. Drop her down. There's one. There's something. Come on. Be edible. Dang it, dude. Hello? There we go. There we go. What is that? What kind of joke is this? What the heck? Bro, <laughs> can I eat that? We have two um, hermit crabs. That is the first time. Look at him. Can you see him looking at me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck is he doing? Oh my god. These things are so weird, man. All right, we're going to let the smaller dude look at that. Let that dude go. This guy is very interesting. Can you imagine being this dude? Oh my god, dude. What? He's got a smaller one on him. You see that? What is that? Is that a snail? I'll send it back down there. I have come to the conclusion that I have actually been cursed. The saltwater fishing gods are angry with me. I, I don't know why, but I caught like 30 tiny croaker. As I said, they have to be eight inches to do anything with. I can't use them for bait. I can't eat them. And there was a bunch of other stuff probably swimming around in the water. Nobody was really catching anything though. It's weird, like this time of the year, if you go to the pier, usually like spot is a guaranteed, like you throw some bloodworms, you give them spot, kingfish, just like a bunch of different stuff. Nobody was, I mean, nobody was really catching anything. That's just, I guess, how salt water goes sometimes. I mean, I could have moved spots, but again, I was just like, I, I don't know. I knew that there was a potential that the spot might move in. I had the crab trap out there, did not catch anything. I saw crabs in that clip that they went in there, but. <sighs> so uh, yeah, I, I'm not Bear grills, I'm not Cody Lundin. I probably would have croaked, I don't know, Maybe I could have got enough clams, but the tide was coming in. I think that I need redemption on the redemption. Let me know uh, if you guys think I should do this video again. Maybe when the mullets start coming around, a bunch of other stuff starts coming around Delaware too. I guess uh, I could do a freshwater version like I did before. Um, we could do that again maybe. I don't know. Hopefully that wouldn't be as big of a fail. If you guys did still enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there. Hit that thumbs up button. Now, if you guys watched my last video, you could actually still enter to win this giant old swim bait. We use it in Florida. Head over to that video. See how to enter for that.
that. We are also going to be, since it just freaking, this video did not go the way I planned. I think we're going to be continuing doing this for this month. It's like giving stuff to you guys. I'm going to be sending you guys, we'll do like a couple gift cards to wherever you guys want it for. Like Bella's, Dick's, uh, Tackle Warehouse, all those kind of things. As I said, I just want to continue to give back. I have, dude, wait till you guys see this next video. Big, big news. I have just not been getting much sleep. There's been a lot of stuff going on. But just wait till you guys see this, man. And again, man, as I said earlier in this video, 400 thousand subscribers that is freaking awesome man. i'm so excited as i always say i could just not thank you guys enough for all the support like you guys literally drive this ship i upload the videos but without your guys' constant support and you guys watching the videos and hitting that thumbs up button you know this channel would not be where it is today and i just cannot thank you guys enough for that 500k up next we got our eyes on that one milli man so to enter to win the gift cards all you got to do in this video man go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and hit that thumbs up button you could also go down there and leave a comment as well if you would like but yeah i gotta go finish editing up this video all I gotta say, man, again, thank you guys so much for all the support. I apologize for not being the Cody Lundin of the Delaware Sea Salt. I'm telling you, man, every time you go saltwater fishing, I mean, that's just fishing in general, but especially saltwater fishing, it's just, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. These videos are definitely a lot tougher to film than like, you know, freshwater and the bass stuff. I mean, it depends on the day, but you know, generally that that's just how it is. But again, man, thank you guys. But again, man, let me just say it one more time. Thank you guys so much for all the support. 400 freaking K. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where